465 dispatcher. I'm going to shut the end of the street down. Got all the cars out of the way for the incoming units. We got 302 Brunswick Shadows Fire. Shadows Fire, Brunswick Shadows Fire. Shadows Fire, Brunswick Shadows Fire. She's got somebody shot in the car. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Oh 465 dispatch. There's a car going down Brunswick with a female shot headed to Fold. We get to the hospital. You got somebody shot? I'm shot. Go to the hospital. Go. Yeah, give me that plate again. You know, this, this ties up so many units to respond to something of this, this magnitude. And then, um, you know, the, the calls still don't stop. People are still calling the police for other things. And For decades, controversial encounters between law enforcement and members of urban communities have captured the nation's attention. With technology now taking on a significant role when it comes to monitoring the law, the exposure from specific incidents have just broken the barriers of trust on both sides. In an effort to drive collaboration and understanding, we are sitting down with several Trenton youths and police officers. We hope that by having an honest conversation about the state of their city, they can find the common ground needed to build successful programs and maybe regain each other's trust. As the next generation of law enforcement and youth work towards becoming the future leaders of the city, we will have a chance to open the lines of communication through breakout sessions. This public health approach offers the opportunity to develop ideas for programs that benefits the city and generations to come.